everyone. I'm Dan Alvarez, and welcome to our second edition of Redskin Rewind. And uh, happens to be another game that uh, uh, that we have that we have chosen that we've liked. That it happens to be another Turpin and Anderson game, but I'm sure we'll we'll have plenty more of those. And I'm joined with the two guys that uh, have brought those broadcasts to you back in. This one is in uh, 1994, so we're getting a little bit older. But uh, Brad Ellis and uh, Greg Ellis were uh, able to do that game for us, guys. That was really cool last uh, last week when we did that. A lot of people loved it. And uh, either one of you guys, Brad, you could start if you want to talk about the uh, just that 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 1994 game. It, it it those games never seemed to disappoint at all. Nope. I mean, um, when when you, when you talk about the Anderson Turpin, you know, you can put all the cliches in there as you want. But uh, I, I think we talked in a pregame about how it's going to be your brother Timmy against some of some of the the defensive uh, you know guys on on Turpin because Turpin had a, a really tough defense that year, and um, Timmy had some good receivers. You know they had Capral and they had um, some other guys in there. Um, shoot, I can't remember his name now. But um, you know, and then Luke, you know, our Andreas was, was in. Lou Andreas was in there, and um, so it was it was kind of touted that as Anderson's offense versus versus uh, Turpin's defense. And um, for the first half, man, I'm telling you, it was, it was, it was Turpin deep just did a, a great job on bottling up Andreatus and, and put pressure on Timmy and, and, you know, caused it to be a zero, zero game at half. Yeah. You know, it was Jake Andreatus, not Lou. My bad. Um, but, <laughs> but, but uh, yeah, I remember the, how, they really had Jake bottled up, and uh, you know what? I, I I didn't really realize until I watched the game again a couple of days ago. You know, he had a great game for Anderson, both on offense and on defense. Trevor Ellison, yeah, mm -hmm. Trevor Ellison, who who uh, later on he coached my daughter Katie in track, but uh, he had a great game. He had like four or five really good runs. Um, from his fullback position, he played defense. He was in on a lot of tackles. But uh, the other thing that stands out about about that game is that was back in the day where we had the referees mic'd. Yeah, and that was so cool to have the referees mic'd, and uh, we thought we were big time then. And uh, and uh, that particular game, and you'll hear it when when we when you play it here, is uh, Marty Brenneman did the PA that night. Yeah, and, and the other thing that was funny about that too, and I'm gonna let you guys that what we're gonna talk about too was funny was your brother Steve uh, was supposed to be the uh, on-field guy, and I was down on the field. I, I I thought I did the camera that night, but I ended up helping Steve, and you could see me down there waving you guys off, saying no, 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 we can't go, we can't go, and and so on. You go ahead and explain what happened on that one. So so somehow some way we had the referees mic. And and it was coming through to us, and it was coming through the referee. They would call play or call whatever the penalty was. It was coming through on the PA. So somehow Steve's field uh, <laughs> mic was also going through the PA. So it was going through, and, and, and in essence, Steve was interrupting Marty Brenneman. Wow. <laughs> was yeah, you not don't good. do that. Not good. Yeah. It, hey. But, but – and the paper are going to see you, Danny, in 1994, yeah. standing next to Steve, <laughs> waving to us, saying, "No, no, 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 no." <laughs> yeah, that 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 was uh, that, that was uh, pretty amazing. I I I didn't write down, and I can't remember. I believe Anderson came in at were they six and one, and and well, do you remember what the records were? I I I forgot to write that down. I I know it was getting close to the playoffs. And I thought Anderson was six and one at the time. Anderson was seven and zero. Oh, Turpin six and one. Six and one. Okay. And yeah. correct yeah, me if I'm right or wrong that. on this one, but was Turpin Division one and Anderson was Division two at the time? Ninety four. I think they were both still Division one. No, yeah. because they, Anderson played Pickwa that year in a playoffs. You know, I, I think maybe they, they were, were Division both two. Div yeah, Division two. Just that it was just weird. It was one year. And then they went back to Division One for a while, but uh, yeah, Brad, you Brad, you talked about um, you know in the pregame about um, you know about being Timmy, my brother Timmy, which is kind of cool for me to, to watch my brother again <laughs> because I was kind of wrapped up in that game. But um, but you talked about during the game, you were saying you know they're leaving as the wide receivers, they're giving them a lot of cushion. Were you surprised that they didn't throw the ball as much as they did, and they just kept trying to feed it to Jake? 
Yeah, in the, in the first couple of drives, they threw some short passes, and between Cruz and Capro, um, they were completing the passes and, and then getting some yards. Uh, and then Turpin started getting pressure on Timmy, and, and Anderson went away from the from the from the pass. Um, and then at the same time, they bottled up Jake, and, and Anderson really didn't have too much offense. Yeah, yeah, yeah they didn't have uh, half. First half, Anderson's offense was was terrible, yeah. but then they. They got it together in the second half. Yeah, they really, really made some good adjustments. And, uh, I mean, it was a typical – you know, that's why we picked this game. It was one of those typical Anderson Turpin games you wouldn't tell in the first half. But, uh, you know, second half is a different story. And so we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. So hopefully you guys enjoy the game. Uh, we'll come back after the second half to, to talk about that and kind of get our final thoughts. And it, it's, a, it's pretty cool that – we're doing this because we've already got our next game lined up for our next event. And that one's a really cool game too. Um, so enjoy the, enjoy the first half. We're back, uh, back, uh, talk about the uh, final game right after this. Brown Stadium on the campus of Anderson High School. Welcome to High School Football on Anderson Community Television. Hello everyone, along with Brad Ellis, I'm Greg Ellis. Thanks for joining us for the game the whole township has been talking about for the last week and been looking forward to all season as the Redskins play host to the Turpin Spartans in the battle for the east side of town right here tonight. Turpin comes in with a 6-1 record. Anderson comes in at 7-0. and And Brad, what a night for football and what an excited crowd we got here. Now, they started getting here at 5.30, two hours before the game started, you know, and it's just amazing how many people are here already and it's still a half hour before the game starts. I tell you, I got here at 5.00. 30 and I was the last car in the parking lot. This place is absolutely packed. You can't get any more in here. Now they're starting to stand them on the, the hillsides. <laughs> really? But uh, let's talk about Turpin for a minute. Turpin comes in at 6 and 1. They beat Woodward last week. Their only loss is to Taft at Taft, and that was a tough loss, but they bounced. They bounce back well. They're led uh, defensively by number 26, Brian Herking, and that's going to be, be the key tonight. Can they stop the potent uh, offense of the Redskins? They're going to have to gang tackle and, and play good defense in order to stop them. Uh, tonight, they're playing for a possible playoff position. Everybody knows that. They're also playing for a possible uh, league championship. So you know, it's in the air. You can feel it. I mean, it's, it's going to be a great game. We look forward to it. it. It is in the air, and this series is tied up at nine games apiece since uh, this series started in 1976 when uh, Turpin had their own team. The, the record is 9-9. Nine and nine. This breaks the tie, and among other things. That's what this game means. For the Redskins, they come in at 7-0. and oh. They come off a bad performance. Well, not bad, but a flat performance against Amelia when they won 21 to nothing, and they are ranked fourth in the state in Division Two. and this this game means everything to them as well as Turpin as far as the state uh, playoffs go. Redskins, of course, are led by their fine tailback Jake Andriatis and quarterback Tim Albers throwing to Brian Capral. And I believe that might be the key to the game tonight. Capral comes into the game with 10 touchdown receptions, and uh, Turpin has a fine defense against the run, so we might look forward to that uh, battle, uh, Albers and Capral against the Turpin defense. So uh, we're, we're all juiced up here. The crowd is just overflowed. Stay with us. We're looking forward to bringing you the East Side game of the week. We'll be right out of town. Bradley's got the start. Labs. Take it, Brad. I got one of them. I don't know where the Anderson one is. It's right here. There you go. All right. First of all, for the starting uh, offense for the Turpin Spartans, at center, number 73, Mike Glassmeyer. At left guard, number 54, Dave Brown. At right guard, number 63, Bo Girth. The left tackle is number 52, Brian Hockney. The right tackle, number 75, Kurt Yuskowicz. At tight end, number 83, Jason Beam. The flanker, number 19, Jimmy Rogers. Bringing the plays in at its split end, number 45, Ryan Timberlake. And number 36, Nate Miller. The fullback is number 34, Derek Gribbler. The tailback is number 2, Jimmy Davidson. And the quarterback, number 17, Brad Chestina. The starting defense for the Anderson Redskins. At tackle, number 66, Dave Crawford. The other tackle, number 54, Adam Turp. 
One defensive end, number 72, Luke, Luke Cosman. The other defensive end is number 53, Brian Hensley. At linebacker, number 88, Joe Werner. Number 33, Matt Ober in the middle. And number 23, Trevor Ellison. At cornerback, number 35, Jeff McKay. The other cornerback is number two, Brendan Sheridan. The safeties are number seven, Andy Barris. And number 81, Adam Zabo. As we said, this place is just juiced up. Juiced up? I'm telling you, you can't get it. many more people in this stadium. I don't know. How, how many does this hold anyway? About this many. <laughs> <laughs> Special guest uh, PA announcer tonight, Marty Brenneman. He could have been doing the World Series, but he'd rather be here at Anderson. Absolutely. There you see on the field the, the uh, captains from each team uh, for the toss to see who gets the ball first. That's referee Robert Duncan. Anderson won the toss. Let the defer. Anderson, Anderson, Anderson. We'll receive down here. Okay, you heard it there. Anderson won the toss, but they deferred. They want to go on defense first and establish themselves on defense, and they're giving it to the Turpin Spartan offense to begin the game. Well, trying to make a statement, I, I would assume, and uh, say hold him and get good field position. That'll do it. I'm telling you, you can't get much more than the ramifications for this game. Turpin, with a 6-1 and one record, they are ranked sixth in the region, and the top four go, and, and if they beat Anderson here, they will move up, and there is a real good chance they'll go to the state playoffs. Well, you take them one game at a time, and they, they've got this one. This is a big one, and it's all counts tonight. If they would happen to knock off the Redskins, they go to Glassy next week, then end the season at, at home against McNick. Two big games. If they, if they finish it out at 9-1, and one, they're, they're, they have a good shot at the playoffs. Redskins lose here. They've got a tough road to hoe because that final game is against the Sandex Bombers, and we know how tough they are. We're set to start this game. Brent Rosser is going to kick it off. And uh, Brad Chestina, the quarterback, number 17, and number two, Jimmy Davidson, are back to receive the kickoff in this monumental game. Here we go. Nice kick by Rosser, a nice and high kick. Chestina takes on the 12. Chestina gets it up over the 30 to the 31, almost broke loose. Nice return. Tackles made by number 80, Brian Caprell, playing special teams. So on the 31-yard line, the Spartans will take over first and 10 to start this game. Decent field position, Greg, to start off for the Spartans again at the, at the 31. They've got to establish the ground game. Uh, they, they haven't really been as successful in the air. It's, it's been all Derek Gribbler and Jimmy Davidson, and what, what a balanced offense that is. Both of them with over 650 yards on the season. They start out with uh, Gribbler in the backfield and, and Rodgers in the slot. And the handoff goes to Gribbler. Gribbler breaks through, gets wow. up for about 10 yards, and a first down on the first play from scrimmage. Derek Gribbler took that handoff, tackled by Trevor Ellison. They're going to mark it just shy of the 31, or the 41. They're going to bring it up and measure it, but it looks a little bit shy. Uh, they lined up trips to this side and, and blew a hole for Gribbler right up the middle. Derek Gribbler, the fine fullback for the Spartans. He's got his, his uh, hand still all taped up. He busted his hand a couple weeks ago. and uh, But he came in, what game was it? Against, um, who was it against? Amelia? Down yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. That uh, sparked the offense down there. There you see they're about, uh, he's about an, an inch, inch short. Shot. Nice shot, Kurt. Gribbler comes into the game averaging 6.9 yards per carry. And uh, he is going to be a key tonight. Well, you know, the, the Redskins deferred because they thought they could stop him and then get good field position. Uh, they're already out to 40-yard line. They're going to have to stop him soon if they want that field position. That's going to bring up a second short. Spartans bring in number nine, Mark Brown, as a, as a second tight end. Spartans come into the game averaging 286 yards per game on offense. And Bob Gibson, number 82, split left for the Spartans to go with a double tight. They've got uh, Gribbler and Grib Davidson. Gribbler and Davidson in the backfield. Second and short. The hand goes to Gribbler. He's ahead for the first down. 
Not much there, but he didn't get enough for the first down. Derek Gribbler, the up man in that backfield, took the handoff, went over to the left side, picked up about uh, two yards, enough for a first down. Number 53, Brian Hensley there for the Redskins to make the tackle. Ball marked at the 43-yard line, first and 10. That's Nate Miller split wide on this side. Jimmy Rogers in his slot. Gribbler and Davis in the backfield. Handoff goes to Gribbler again. He's met right at the line. Not much there. He may have gotten a yard. Well, his surge got him a couple yards over to the uh, just over the 45-yard line. About a two-yard gain. Had to bring up second and eight. So three plays for Turpin, three carries for Derek Gribbler, Brad. Tackles made by Adam Turp on that play. We'll call it a gain of two, make it second and eight. And as we said, Marty Brenneman is doing the announcement. That's pretty cool. <laughs> the voice of the Redskins. Cool. There you go. Brian Timberlake, number 45, split way left now. Second and eight. They're staying with that double tight. The handoff goes to Gribbler again. Gribbler falls ahead. He almost Close dropped to the midfield. Ball. He hit it about the 49. That'll bring up... Uh, about, what is that? Third, see they mark, they mark it close to midfield. We'll call it a gain of four, make it uh, second and four, or third and four. Hensley there again for the Redskins. To Brian Hensley. Third and four, this is a big play, third and four. The four plays, four gribblers. Nate Miller this side now. One of these times you're going to fake that and go with the option. Hey, good drop. All right, hand off to Davidson. Davidson around the right side. He's hit, and he's got close to first down yard. He's see where they mark it. Tackled by Trevor Ellison. All depends on where they mark it. Wants to be awful close. Davidson with his first carry of the night. They're short. They're short, and look, here comes the punt team. Well, they're, they're, it looks like they're almost a good yard short. Andrew Adis falls back deep for the Redskins. And Chestina will do the punting. Ball at the 48-yard line of Anderson. And Chestina gets a short wobbly kick down. Rolls and sideways. rolls dead on about the 17-yard line of Anderson. And that's where the Redskins will take over. First and 10 with 9.07 left in this opening quarter. About a 31-yard punt for Chestina. Not bad. You know, they, they did... What they had to do, they, they got a couple first downs and a punt pin to back under 17. Not a bad job for the first series. For the Redskins, we'll keep an eye on Jake Andrianis, who comes into this game with 987 yards. 13 yards to crack the 1,000 barrier. That's Lewis Cruz split right, capital left for the Redskins. Ellison and Andrianis in the backfield. Albers gives. No, he keeps the ball. He's got lots of time. He's going far down the field. He throws it, he throws it away. Brian Capra was there. Their own coverage for the Spartans was number 22, Josh Crawford. Right away, they go into the air. We talked about that in the pregame. They go into the air right away. Nothing there as far as good coverage by the Spartans, but he had enough time to throw the ball away. That brings up a second and ten. They'll definitely want to get at least a first down to get out of this deep hole. Once again, Capra split wide on this side. And I believe it's Wozniak on the other side in red. Albers back to pass. He's got Capril. Wow, did they give him a cushion or what? Capril catches the pass, takes it in for the first down. Run out of bounds by number 22, Josh Crawford. And by number 19, Jimmy Rogers. Jimmy Rogers. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, they could throw a five. I mean, if they stay like that, they're going to throw that five-yard quick all night because it looked like uh, Josh Crawford was 15 yards off the ball. Well, Capril's reputation, the average in 30 yeah, yards he, per catch. They have to respect his deep threat. They've got Sabo and Cruz split right now. First and ten. And that's Andreatis. Andreatis, not much there. Gets it up over the 35 to about the 36. Take up maybe two yards. Tackles made by Brian Bolger. Stacked up real well by the uh, Spartan defense. We'll call it a gain of two. Make it second and eight. As we said in the pregame, this could be a battle between uh, Albers and Capro and the, and the, the uh, Spartan secondary. Second and eight. Andreas, the lone man in the backfield now. And Albers got to put it up. Goes down. Wide open, man. Wide open out here. 
Cruz hit it in his hands and he dropped it. Lewis Cruz is wide open out there. Their coverage was Eric Ringer, but uh, Cruz was wide open, Brad. Yeah, it looked like he had enough time to, and he's wide open, and a little more zip line instead of loft could have gotten it there, but. It was close. Third and third and uh, third and seven, third and eight. Redskins had four plays of scrimmage. Now three of them passes. Albert's one for three for 17 yards. Third and eight. Ball marked on the 36-yard line of the Redskins. Andrea is alone back. Albert's back again to pass. He's got man wide open. That's Cruz. Cruz takes over midfield in its Spartan territory. Nice read by Albers. Lewis Cruz set up in a slot. Ran a slant right down the middle of the field. Wide open. Nice throw by Albers. Good catch by Cruz. First down Redskins. Eric Ringer brought him down. That was a 15-yard gain. Takes it into Spartan territory. Make it first and 10 on the 49-yard line. Redskins come out throwing the ball. Capro left. Wozniak right. Natalison and Andrea is back in the backfield. And that's Jake Andreatis again. Andreatis gets over, goes over the right side for a couple yards, and that's about it. Brian Herking, the fine linebacker for the Spartans, brought him down. Caught a gain of two, make it second and eight. Spartans have played tough all year, Brad, on defense against the run. Well, they're, they're you know, amongst the leaders in the city in team defense, averaging just over 200 yards a game. Second and eight. Ball marked on the 47-yard line of Turpin. And Albers pitches back to Andreatis. Andreatis looking for room. He's getting dropped behind the line. Brian Herking. Brian Herking right there. Good pursuit by the Spartans. Dropped him for a three-yard loss. Takes it back to uh, the 49-yard line, the original line of scrimmage, make it third and 10. And now Andreas has two yards on three carries. Redskins will probably have to go back into the air. Now we've got number 81 split wide on this side for the Redskins. That's uh, Zabo, isn't it? Yep. And Albers back to pass. He throws for Zabo. Incomplete. Ball thrown a little bit low. Hey, the only coverage was Josh Crawford. He probably would have been short of the first down anyway. So the Redskins will have to punt. They dig it out of the big hole they were in, but they're, they're going to have to give it back to the Spartan offense. Fourth and ten, they'll trail trade punts. 6.27 left in this opening quarter. No score. And Alberts will punt it away to Brad Chestina and Jimmy Davidson. And Chestina is like fourth in the city in punt returns. There's a flag. We'll get our first penalty of the night. Nice Alvarez gets a nice high punt. Chastina calls for a fair catch on the 16. But let's see what the flag's all about. Illegal procedure, Redskins. What's that preliminary? Preliminary. What's that preliminary? Our referee tonight is Mr. Robert Duncan, and we do have the wireless mic, as you heard before. And uh, we'll see what the call is. I'm sure it's... Uh, Illegal procedure, and they'll probably kick it over. We got six men on line scrimmage. Decline. Well, maybe not. First down. There you heard it. They declined the penalty, and they will take over on their own 16 yard line, first and 10. Kind of a surprise, Brett. They didn't take that penalty. Uh, Albers is a good punter. He got it to the 16. Uh, if you give him more, more room, he might get deeper. So uh, they trade punts. Spartans take over with 619 left in this first quarter. No score. You know, in all the games that we've done, both teams have been kind of slow to start on their offensive side of the ball. And tonight is certainly no exception. Gribbler and Davidson in the backfield. And the hand goes to Gribbler. Gribbler through the middle. Not much there. Stacked up on about the 18-yard line. Gain of maybe two yards. Well, the Redskins are going to start looking for that now since he's carried the ball six times already. Five times already. Dave Crawford was among others there to bring him down. Second and eight. Well, they really did the field up nice here at Anderson. They decorated the uh, end zones, both end zones. They the checkerboard for that. Yeah. <laughs> Second and eight. And Shasina keeps the ball. He's way behind the line. He's going to be hit and dropped. 
Joe Warner, number 88. Getting through there and dropping him for a loss. Chastina is dropped on about the 14-yard line. Called a loss of four. That's going to bring up a third to about 12. Now we come up with a situation that hasn't been a you know, big, good spot for the Spartans. It's a throwing. They, they haven't done very well at all. They haven't even attempted one as of yet. But this certainly would be a throwing down if, if there is one. They've got Davidson and Rogers over there split on the left side. Handoff goes to Gribbler. And Gribbler's going to be stopped on about the 17-yard line. And uh, the, the Spartans have to punt for deep in their own side of the field. And if that, that might be a statement, Brad, that they don't uh, feel they can throw the ball in this Redskins defense. It's a statement for the Redskins defense and the Spartan offense. Shastina back to punt. Andrea stands at midfield to receive it. And he gets a nice punt away. Andreas calls for a fair catch on the 44-yard line. He fumbles it, but he falls on top of it. So the Redskins have a great field position to start their second possession on the 44-yard line, first and 10. Wait a minute, we got a flag. And, and look at procedure was the initial call. We got illegal formation, six guys on the line of scrimmage. Decline, Anderson Ball. There you hear it. They decline the penalty, and the Redskins will take over on their own, or the Spartan 44-yard line with 4.30 left in this opening quarter. The Spartans did a good job of scouting the Redskins. They had uh, some extra men on the, on the uh, their left side of the offensive line. Uh, Redskins have come in from that side to block a couple punts this year so far. Okay, we've got Capral split wide, Cruz in the slot. Ellison and Andreas in the backfield. That's Andreas in motion. And the handoff goes to Trevor Ellison. Trevor Ellison breaks through up to the 30-yard line in a first down. You draw that attention to Andreas. You blow up the middle of Trevor Ellison, who does a good job. Jason Beam, number 83, took him down, but not before a gain of about 15. 14 yards, our stat man, Steve Martin says. Correction made. Ball marked on the 30-yard line, first and 10. Capro now split right with Wozniak in a slot. And Albert's hands to – no, he keeps the ball. He's got man open. Nice catch. That's that ball Wo complete. Sean Wozniak. Sean Wozniak makes a great catch on the 14-yard line. Tackled by Eric Gringer, but what a great throw and catch. That was a great catch by Wozniak. Wozniak hadn't caught too many passes. He's a, he's a six-foot junior. 16-yard gain. And now Albers has completed three passes to three different receivers, Brad. First and 10 on the 14-yard line. Capro right, Cruz left. And the hand goes to Andreatis. Andreatis gets it up over the 10 to about the 9, but we got another flag. Tackles made by Brian Herking. We well, can only guess, but that flag was yeah, holding. Holding against the Redskins. That flag was thrown right at Matt Wolf's uh, feet. We'll see if he gives us a number. Holding number 50 offense. Repeat first down. Is that it? That's Matt yeah. Wolf. That's Matt Wolf. Nice call, Bradley. Thank you. That's good. Take it all the way back to the. 25-yard line. Well, that's something that both teams have to stay away from. If they're having trouble moving the ball, you certainly don't want a penalty to kill a drive. That's going to make it first and 20. Ball on the 25-yard line. Now Albers is going to throw. Complete out there to Capral. And Capral gets it up to about the 17-yard line. It's a gain of eight. I tell you what, Brian Capral is an imposing target out there, six foot three, and he is only a junior. Gain of seven yards. It's going to bring up a second and 13. Redskins knocking on the door here in the first quarter. 3.09 left. Second and 13. And Albers takes a deep drop, sets up the screen. Steps away. Throws into the end zone. Incomplete. Pass is intended, I believe, for Brian Capral, but Cruz is back there also. I think more or less he's throwing it away. Nice job by Tim There's Albers. a flag on the that. field, though. We're missing these flags, Greg. We are. Another flag. Illegal receiver downfield. 
That's that's a result of uh, Albers breaking away there. And that's going to bring it back further still. We'll get the call here. We got number 71 and that was going downfield. Second down. That's number 71, Chris Kane for the Redskins. Taking the ball back to the 23-yard line. And that is the second penalty accepted by the Spartans against the Redskins. And that's going to bring up another second and about 18 yards. Trevor Ellison just came out of the game. They're going to go with uh, three receivers and eight race in the backfield. They've got uh, Wozniak split wide on this side, Capro and Cruz on the, the other side. And the hand goes to Andreatis. Andreatis looking for room to oh. run, slips and falls on about the 18-yard line. Looks like he almost slid. There, to make sure he didn't get back up, was Eric Ringer. <laughs> he couldn't get up anyway. <laughs> Whatever. Gain of five, make it third and 13. Big play here to keep the drive going, or do they go to Brent Rosser for the field goal attempt? Saban and Cruz split left, Capital right. Once again, Andreas alone back. Albers puts it up again. He throws incomplete intent for Cruz. Cruz looking for a flag, no call. <laughs> Albers be rushed by number 26, Brian Herking. He, he drives Albers on his uh, backside. Redskins send Brett Rosser in to attempt a field goal. Ball marked on the 18-yard line. That would make it a 35-yard attempt. With 2.18 left in this first quarter. It's going to make it a 36-yarder. Sabo's going to hold. He puts a platform down on the 36, or on the 26 to make it a 36-yard field goal attempt. We saw him in pregame. He was kicking him from this distance. Snap is good. Block, block, big time. It rolls out of bounds. Big play by the Spartans. They shoot through, block the field goal attempt. That was Jason Beanbrand who came through there and got his hands on that ball. That wasn't even close, Greg. That wasn't even close. Big, big play for the Spartans. I don't, I don't know if Ross didn't get the ball up in the air or if uh, Bean was that close, but it was like a bam, bam, and all of a sudden it was, it was nothing. Spartans take over on the run 41-yard line, first and 10. Spartans need to build off this. As all the fire department rolls into the school, <laughs> keep an eye on my, my on this van. As long there. as it's not the press box, the pitch goes to Davidson. Davidson running right, in dropped right at the line of scrimmage. Nice pursuit by the de Redskin defense. That was Brian Hensley, the defensive end. He spread it out, didn't let him turn up field, maintained containment, dropped him for no gain. Second and ten. If you're a Turbot Spartan fan, you got to be excited about what's happened in this game thus far. No score, under two minutes to play in this first quarter. Greg Ellis along with Brad Ellis, thanks for joining us for this battle of the east side of town. Gribbler and Davidson down the split backfield. And the handoff goes to the Gribbler. Gribbler Break busts through. through. First Derek down. Derek Gribbler carries it into the Redskin territory. Another Turpin's first down. You Tackled know, by Trevor Ellison. Two weeks ago when we did the uh, Turpin Amelia game, where they went they went to Gribbler when they needed a big play. They needed a big play to get him back on track. Gribbler takes him for the first down inside the Redskin territory at the 48. 14-yard gain for Derek Gribbler. He now has 36 yards and seven carries. First and 10. And the handoff goes to Derek Gribbler again. This time, he is stacked up right at the line. Tackled by Trevor Ellison. Yeah, Trevor stopped him right there at the line of scrimmage. Nowhere to go. Wrapped his feet and wouldn't let him move. Second and 10 for the Spartans, and we're inside a minute left of the uh, first quarter. Brian Timberlake, number 45, bringing the plays in. There you see the Redskin defense. Second and 10. 
ball. Loose ball. Looks like the Spartans fell on top of it. Yeah, Shastina didn't get the snap the whole way. He dropped the snap. He did the smart thing just by covering up, but now it's going to bring up third and 11. I'll try to get the ringing out of my ears from that call, Brad. <laughs> there was a ball. <laughs> Got to call the ball. Loss of one. That's going to be the last play this first quarter, I do believe. Well, we got a second. Let's go to our uh, sponsors here. Uh, Tom Moser, Chief Beagle in uh, Mount Washington. Meineke TV and VCR sales in Newtown. Brody and Cal's Funeral Home, one block west of uh, Beachmont Mall. Adams Heating, uh, Beachmont. Beacon Food Mart, Mount Washington. Also want to thank Toft Insurance and Toft Travel on Ohio Pike, La Rosa's in Anderson and Mount Washington, Fry Insurance Agency in Marymount, Dr. Paul K. Yankow on Beachmont Avenue, and Edwards Realtors in Cherry Grove Plaza. We've got Steve Ellis on the sidelines. Let's go to him and see what's happening on the sidelines. Steve, let's go to you. A little mix up on the field there. Where is he at? Let's go, Steve-O. <laughs> okay. okay, Steve, obviously <laughs> nothing much to say there. Our score at the end of the first quarter no, <laughs> is no score. Let's go to the stats real quick since we don't have Steve down there. <laughs> Anderson has 21 yards running, 55 in the air for a total of 76. Turpin has 33 passing or 33 running, no yards passing. We're set to begin this second quarter. Third and 11, ball midfield, and Shastina's got to put it up. He's got room to run. He's got to tuck it in and run. He's got the first down and more. Brad Shastina gets it up over the 30 to about wow. the 26-yard line. Scrambling Brad. They, the first time they go back to pass, he uh, they lose containment. He gets wild, gets, runs up the field for a nice gain, taking it all the way down to the 27-yard line. Think of 23 yards. Was it Trevor Ellison brought him down? Now Trevor hit him, but he, he didn't no, get Joe, him. Joe Werner got him. Big play with the Spartans. They're knocking on the door here. Ball marked on the 27-yard line. First and 10. I guess we can't go to Steve, huh? I guess we won't try it again. <laughs> Handoff goes to Jimmy Davidson, and Davidson not much there. Now that's the first time he's touched the ball. That's uh, the third, 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 third carry. He's got three carries now for four yards. Tackle that time was made by Adam Turp. We'll call it a gain of one, make it second and nine. Turp and Spartans having things going their way here. Chestina surprisingly back to pass, but he made a nice run on that scramble. And Chestina, as of yet, has not put the ball up in the air. Nate Miller split right. Second and nine. And that's Jimmy Davidson. Davidson hit stop behind the line. Matt Over put a lick in on him. Nice job by Over to play off the block and fill the hole and drop him for a loss. We'll call a loss of one, make it third and ten. So Steve's coming over the PA, huh? What? Steve's, co Steve's coming over the PA. <laughs> Steve is coming over the PA? Okay, we'll make it third and ten. Ten twenty-three left in this first half. No score, but the Spartans are knocking on the door here. Let's see if uh, Shastina puts it up. He's got Jimmy Rogers split wide on this side. Ryan Timberlake right. Oh, my gosh. And there's a flag. Shastina was in the shotgun. We'll see what the call was. Probably going to get a delay here. That is the call. The dead ball. Delay game offense. Still third. Well, that is uh, the Spartans' first penalty of the game, Brad. We talked about the pregame. They need to do everything right against this Anderson team. That's only their first penalty. Well, what hurt there is they, I'm sure they surprised the Redskins by coming out in a shotgun, and then they lose the element of surprise by, by getting a, a delay of game penalty. That's going to bring up a third and 14 yards. Spartans must get it to the 17-yard line for a first down. 
And the handoff goes to Davis on the right side. Davidson stacked up. Nice move. Pulls ahead, but not, not nearly enough. It gets back to the original line of scrimmage. And that's going to bring up a fourth and about ten. So they're on the 26 and a half. What will they do? Brandon Sheridan brought him down. I believe they're going to have to go for the first down, Brad. That would be a 44-yard field goal from there. Nothing to lose here. They bring in uh, number 82, Bob Gibson. And number 19, Jim Rogers. That's Gibson split left, Rogers right. Big play for the, for the Redskin defense. He goes into the shotgun. That last snap wasn't real crisp, though. There's a flag. There's Hold another on. flag. They're going to stop this shoot. play. I tell you. They, uh, Looks like they're going to the Spartans again. Yeah. They jump before the ball is snapped. We got dead ball, false start, offense, fourth down. Okay, it's a, yes. another loss of five, make it fourth and 15. That's the second penalty against the Spartans, now for 10 yards. They have to get to the 17-yard line for a first down. Again, Gibson comes left, Rogers right, and they stay with a double tight. Davidson in motion. Shastina is still looking. Loose containment again. Now he's hit. He's hit. Dropped. Dropped on bounds. the 39-yard line. Actually about the 40-yard line by Matt Over. Matt Over chased him down. Big play for the Redskin defense. Couple penalties. Hurts the Spartans on that drive. Coming out in a shotgun, trying to uh, catch him off guard. Two straight penalties cost him instead of fourth and or third and up. Third, third, and four. Five, third and four, it came up to a four, fourth and 14. Redskins take over on their own 40-yard line, first and 10. No score as of yet. Trevor Ellison Trevor up the middle. Trevor Ellison through the middle. <laughs> Where are you at, Greg? <laughs> I was trying to figure out who had the ball. <laughs> Trevor Ellison it. gets up to about the 45-yard line. Gain of five, stopped by Jeff Prince. Now bring up a second and five. And Ellison now has uh, 19 yards on two carries. Jake Andriatis has only seven yards on four carries. Preston's playing against the, the obviously obviously the, the stingiest defense they've come up against all year. Now we've got uh, Capra and Wozniak split wide on this side. Andriatis in a slot. The handoff goes to Andriatis. He loses the ball, picks it up. Andrea is still looking for some room to run. Oh, man. He breaks about four tackles and ends up making a gain out of the play. He dropped the ball in the backfield. Instead of covering it, he tries to pick it up successfully. And instead of losing three, he gains four. Tackles made by Brian Bolger at number 25, who we don't know who it is. It's not in our roster. Okay. That's going to bring up a third and one. Ball marked on the 48-yard line. 7.45 left in this opening half. No score. Ball. ball. Alberts falls on top of it, but he doesn't have the first down. That's going to be up a fourth down. 7.30 left in the half. They set in a punt team. Once again, Redskins give it back to the Spartans. I tell you, if you're a Turbot Spartan fan, your confidence has got to be building as the minutes go by here, Brad. Official timeout. Back to receive the punt for the Spartans will be number 17, Brad Chastina, and number 2, Jimmy Rogers, or Jimmy Davidson. I knew he was going to do it sooner or later. Casario not happy at all with the exchange on that time. Third and one, and you lose the exchange. Matt Wolf receiving the brunt of that uh, displeasure. Albers gets Straight a high up. short punt away. In fact, very short. Goes out of bounds wow. on the side of his foot. Let's see where they mark it at. On the 40-yard line. It's a 13-yard punt for Tim. Spartans take over with, with fine field position on their own 40-yard uh, line, first and 10, with exactly seven minutes left in this first half. Well, it's, it's, it's a huge crowd here tonight at Anderson High School. 
I'm telling you, you, you can't get any more people in here. Who are you waving to? <laughs> First and ten, ball on the 40. <laughs> and handoff goes to Gribbler. Ball. Loose ball. Let's see I who's think, got I, it. I don't know. I think I thought he picked it back up. I'm not real sure. And they're pointing to the Redskins. The Redskins ball. Derek Gribbler took that handoff, was hit at the line of scrimmage by Brian Hensley. I don't know who recovered that ball, but it's Redskins ball. Dave Crawford also there for the Redskins. Ball marked on the 41-yard line of the Spartans. Redskins need to capitalize on this turnover. Lewis Cruz right, Capro left. Andreas just two, shard, two yards shy of the 1,000-yard mark. And Albert's looking deep. He's his. He throws the ball. And it's Picked intercepted. Off. That's Ringer, I think, number 80. He's got a lot of room Eric down Ringer. there. Eric Ringer is still on the go. Steps by Albers, makes the tackle. Eric Ringer picked off that ball at about the five-yard line. Takes it all the way back to the Redskin 43. Boy, Albers, oh boy, Albers was hit as he threw that ball. Brad. He was hit and had a lot of pressure. He threw the ball. Ringer playing center field back there. Went for the ball. Capital didn't see it until it was behind him. Nice run back also. That's a 50-yard run back by Ringer. Back-to-back -back turnovers on consecutive plays. <laughs> Spartans take over on the, on the Redskin 43-yard line with 6.17 left in this first half. Number 22, P.J. Shiano is now in a defensive backfield for the Redskins for Andy Barris. And the handoff goes to Gribbler. He muscles his way over the 40. <laughs> That's what I'm supposed to say. He gets it up to about the 39-yard line. And now Gribbler now has 40 yards on 10 carries. Tackle that play was made by Dave Crawford. Now you can say something. <laughs> I'm curious why Andy Barris isn't. He, he's over here on the sideline. He's got uh, a trainer looking at him. That's why Barris isn't in there. Well, if we, had a, if we, had, if we a, had a guy on the sidelines, we'd find out. Spartans don't see it or see something on the line that they don't agree with. They call a timeout. It's the first timeout of the game. Spartan fans happy with what they've seen so far. 5.37 left in this first half. No score. And uh, not a lot of action on offense. <laughs> Greg Ellis along with Brad Ellis. We've got our whole crew here tonight. we got Kurt Kissner on the camera. Steve Martin, our stat man. Stat man. And uh, Big Ed Varth, Fast Eddie Varth. Doing the spot. <laughs> As we, as we alluded to several times, you can't get a bigger game. This is, without a doubt, the biggest game in this 18-year series. Well, it's the first time it's, there's been so much at stake. As we said, Spartans come in, ranked six in the region, and the top four teams from each region go to the state playoffs. And the numbers one and two team in this region are the number one and two team rated in the entire state. That'd be Salina and Piqua. Redskins ranked number three. Second and five. Spartans go to the divide backfield with Gribbler and Davidson. And there's a flag before we get started. And this is going to go against the Redskins offside. They must have lined up offside. Lining up in the neutral zone. We'll, we'll get the call here in a second. We got dead ball, encroachment, number 72. Still a second. That is uh, Luke, Luke Cosman, who must have been lined up in the uh, neutral zone. <laughs> okay. That brings it down to the 34 yard line. It's going to be a second and one. Spartans in good shape to maybe take the lead here. Second and one. And uh, still, the, the Spartans have not put the ball up in the air yet. Nate Miller split right. They, they stay with a double tight. And 
And the hand goes to Gribbler. He's got the first down and more. Derek Gribbler up over the 25 to about the 24-yard line. Tackle was made by number 35, Jeff McKay. Big game for the Spartans. That was a gain of 10 yards. Gribbler now with 50 yards and 11 carries. Redskins can't let Gribbler get loose and be, and be tackled by the defensive back. He's just too big. Well, this is where the, the Spartans are going to have to convert. They've got it down deep in Redskin territory with 5.15 left in this first half. The handoff goes to Davidson. Davidson tries the right side. He's in after about a four-yard gain. Gets it up to about the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20-yard line. Gain of four. That'll bring up second six. And Davidson now only has 11 yards on six carries. Second six ball marked right on the 20-yard line. Under five minutes to play in the first half. No score, but the Spartans are threatening. And the handoff goes to Jimmy Rogers in the round. Jimmy Rogers. Nice job by Joe Warner. The last scrimmage. Joe Warner and Jeff McKay weren't fooled one tiny bit. Well, he had a lot of room to run if he had broken around the corner. Uh, nice speed shown by Joe Warner to catch him, or he'd have gone for some yardage. And that's going to be a no game. Well, that'll bring up a third in about six. Spartans have to get the ball to the 14-yard line for a first down. Bob Gibson now bringing the play in for the Spartans. This is where it's a big play. The Spartans really want to convert right here. Gribbler up the Gribbler on the left side. Gribbler falls ahead for about five yards. Even at, at the very last minute, that spin got him an extra half yard. Tackles made by Joe Warner, but uh, Gribbler takes it close to the 15-yard line. And that's going to be up a fourth and about one. Spartans have a player down. It looks like it's number 83, Jason Beam. Jason Beam, who had the biggest play of the game so far when he blocked that field goal attempt by Brent Rosser. Here comes Coach Berta. <laughs> Coach Berta seems to be in no hurry. There he goes. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> 3.40 left in this surprising first half. I haven't gone pretty quickly, actually, Brad. Yep. Zip, zip on the board. And Jason Beam is still down. Really, the only, the only attempt was that field goal attempt. And uh, Spartans got inside. What would he get to? About the 30-yard uh, line, then a couple penalties. No, they they got it down further than that. They, they were down close to where they are now. And we're glad to say Jason Beam is uh, going off the field in his own power. Number 85, Tom McAllister comes in for uh, Beam. Fourth and about two yards. Gibson goes out and Rogers brings a play in. Clock starts. Let's uh, keep around with Derek Gribbler, who has 12 carries on the game for 54 yards. Well, you got to go with what got you there, Greg. Fourth and two. They must get it to the 14-yard line. Rogers lines up as a power back in a power eye. And that's Davidson on the right side. Davidson get, has a first down. Gets it down to about the 10-yard line. Jimmy Davidson going over that right side. Picks up five or six. Tackled by Joe Werner, and the Spartans are definitely knocking on the door right now. Running behind Kurt Yuskowicz and Bo Gerth on that side, also behind, of course, Rodgers and uh, Gribbler. First and ten with the ball right on the ten-yard line. Looks like under, they, they can barely get a first down. Under three minutes to play. The handoff goes to uh, Davidson. Davidson stacked up right at the line for no gain. Brian Hensley could crash it in from his defensive end position to stop him along with Luke Cosman. Matt Ober was also there. All right. Second and 10, and we're under 238 to play in this first half. And boy, what a uh, upper this would be for the Spartans to go in at halftime. Spartans have to have to put something on the board right here, whether it be three or six. They, they need to take the lead before halftime. Clock continues to wind down. 2.20 to play. I think the Redskins have all three for, uh, timeouts left, don't they? I don't think they really need them if they don't have the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Second and ten. Mark, <laughs> so, 
And the handoff. He's passed. No, he's, he's got to pass. The chest is still looking. Throw the ball. There you he go. He gets rid of it. Up for grabs. I think it's intercepted. Let's yeah, see. They call it incomplete. Incomplete. God, I Boy, that was a dangerous pass. I don't well, think Coach Berta was happy with that pass one time. I know he was right in his ear yelling, throw it, but I th- I'm sure he meant out of bounds. <laughs> Jim Davidson was the intended receiver. But uh, under a minute, two minutes to play, Brandon Sheridan was also there. Was he the one that got his hands on the ball, Brandon Sheridan? Okay. Third and ten. A minute 58 left in this first half. No score. That was uh, Shastina's first pass attempt. And handoff goes to Gribbler. Gribbler gets it up close to the five-yard line. Uh-huh. That's going to bring up a fourth down. They're going to mark it on the six. Well, I got to say, they're gonna, probably going to call a timeout and talk about it. But if I was Coach Berta, I'd, I'd try to field goal and go for the points. On the six, that would be a 24-yard field goal attempt. Certainly within the range. They're going to wait for the clock to run down as long as possible and call a timeout. Well, they're under a minute and a half to play. Their kicker is number 36. Nate Miller. Nate it? Miller. He is going to come on the field. Timeout is called with a minute 26 left in this first half. Hey, I tell you what, coming into the game 0-0 halftime, the Spartans would take it. And now they've got a chance to go up before the halftime. A definite uplift. There's just as many Turpin people here as there is Anderson. Oh, yeah. They're, they're, they're everywhere. It's, it's a hard to tell how many people are here, but I'm telling you, you can't get much more than there is. There you see Coach uh, Suriano trying to rev up the troops. Well, actually, here comes Coach Suriano. <laughs> Defense coordinator talking to their defense. Just making sure, for one, don't go for a fake. Don't let him score like the, like the Bengals did Sunday. Go for, go for the block, but don't let him score. Okay. Ball marked on the six-yard line, fourth and six. And they are going to try a field goal attempt. Nate Miller on to attempt the uh, field goal. That is uh, Jimmy Rogers who will do the holding. Nate, a uh, lefty there. They set up on the four, uh, 14. This will be a 24-yard attempt. Snap is good. The kick is up. It's blocked. Wow. And Joe they, Werner was just through there just as fast as Jason Bean was. That hit him somewhere in the midsection. Big play for the Redskins. Big downer for the Spartans. I tell you, as much as they, uh, they could have put uh, the Spartans mentally up, that just uh, took them down that much further. With 120 left in the first half, they have to both. Uh, their backs here and not let the, the uh, Redskins do anything with the ball. The Spartans held the ball for five minutes and one second that time and nothing to show for it. Trevor Allison running off the field. They go with uh, a whole bunch of receivers. Andreas alone back. And that is Andreas with a handoff. He bounces off. Andreas still looking for room to run. Breaks two or three tackles. Gets it up to about the 13-yard line. Again, a yard or two. Brian Herking brought him down. And timeout Anderson. That's their now first. they need a three time. <laughs> That's their first timeout. 48 seconds left in this first <laughs> half. Herking had a hold of his jersey and held on for dear life and finally brought him down. That is going to take Jake Andreas over the 1,000-yard marker. That's Anderson's first time out. They're going to have to go downfield. That's, this is where we're talking about the defensive backs. They had to be careful. Capra at 6'3 is a big target. But uh, Cruz and Wozniak also have big catches so far tonight. Well, th- this is the uh, this is the time of the game that uh, Capral has uh, done well before. As we said, he leads the city by a wide, wide margin on yards per catch. They've got Ranger. He's going to drop back about 20 yards and play center field again. But I tell you what, the difference is Turpin's been getting pressure on Albers in the backfield. And he hasn't been able to sit back there and pick his targets. Let's see, what is Albers? He is four for nine on the game so far. He's been pressured more tonight than he has all year. Second and six. Capra left, Cruz in the slide on the left side. Wozniak on the far on this side. And Albers hands to Andreatis. Andreatis is bottled up again. 
Let's see where they mark that. They're not going to mark it. They're not going to give him his forward progress initially. Well, he was still trying to break away. Herking had a hold of him, and he kept on pushing him back. So they're marking it at the uh, eight-yard line. Redskins decide now not to stop the clock. Big loss, six-yard loss. Brian Herking was there, along with uh, Brian Bolger. Redskins now decide to eat this ball and go in at 0-0 halftime. As we're under uh, 10 seconds to play in this first half. Jake Andriatis, first half, seven carries, nine yards. Albers takes the knee. There's a flag. We'll get the air from the referees one more time, I do believe. Clock shows 0-0 in time. If it's a defensive penalty, which, which is what they've uh, indicated, then we'll have one more play. I think the Redskins would like to pass on that. But being a, looks like it's a dead ball foul. Let's get the call. As we said, there's no time on the clock. Referee again is, no, is uh, number who? <laughs> Robert Duncan. And they're talking to Tim Albers there. The umpire Jim Schenkel. Linesman is Gary Riemann. Okay, it was offsides against the Spartans. Redskins declined the penalty. It looks like we they're got dead take... ball encroachment. Defense declined. That's the quarter. That's it. That's the end of the first half. And our score at the end of one half of play in the battle for the east side of town is the answer Redskins nothing, the Turpin Spartans nothing. We'll be back with the second half right after this. Welcome back to Brown Stadium, where the score is 0-0 between Anderson and Turpin. Brad, you got some quick uh, first half stats there? I'd rather have a monitor. First half stats, rushing the Reds, uh, Redskins have 28 yards, they have 55 yards passing, there it is, for a total of 83, 84 yards, 83 yards. Turpin has 85 yards all rushing, no score in the game. Spartans will kick off to the Redskins to start this second half. And the key to that first half, Jake Andreas, nine yards on seven carries. Both teams had a, had a, a possibility of scoring, having two field goals blocked, one by each team. Nate Miller's kickoff bounces, and Andreas picks up on the 21. Andreas has room to run. Andreas is still on the go, gets it up to about the 48 yard line. That ball was bouncing, Brad. He picked it up on the 20 yard line, got it back close to midfield. Sometimes that's what happens on a squib kick like that, you overrun it. Nate Miller made the tackle, the kicker. So the Redskins take over with fine field position, no score after the first half of play. Redskins' first attempt at uh, making the adjustments at halftime, we'll see what happens. Caprol split wide with Cruz in the slot. Ellison and Andreas in the backfield. And that is Andreatis. Andreatis gets it over midfield to about the 47-yard line of Turpin. Tackle was made by number 73, Mike Glassmeyer. Nice job by Glassmeyer. He, uh, Andreatis bounced it outside. Glassmeyer making the extra effort to trip him up. Gain of five, make it second and five. And we thank Marty Brenneman for telling the, the big crowd here what time our game is on. <laughs> Second and five. And Andreas again tries the right side. Jake Andreas. Look out. Jake Andreas gets it up over the 25 to the 24 yard line of Turpin. Tackled by Eric Ringer. But Jake Andreas, after getting nine yards on seven carries in that first half, now with that 23 yard pickup, has 37 yards on nine carries. This is exactly what the Redskins needed. A uh, uh, very well driven, well drive. What do, what do you want to say? <laughs> Something like that? I don't know what you're talking They're about. doing good. <laughs> Ball on the 24 yard line, first and 10. 
And Andreas on the left side. Andreas gets it over the 20. Down to about the 16-yard line. Let's see where they mark it. They mark it on the 16. That's a pickup of eight yards. Tackles made by Jeff Prince and Jim Rogers. Looks like they're rotating sides, Greg, going left and right, doing a good job. Second and two, ball on the 16-yard line. And Andreas again on the right side. Andreas refuses to go down. He finally does go down. I don't think he picked up the first down. Uh -uh. Brian Herking was there. Let's see what they mark it. They mark it right on the 15-yard line. A lot of respect shown by both Andreas and Herking for each other on that's, the field. That's a gain of one. That's going to be a third and one. Redskins come out on offense uh, in a ball of fire, Brad. Uh, it doesn't mean anything unless you put something on a board. Third, Matt, and, one, third and one. Matt Ober now set up on the flanker on the left side. And Andreas tries the left side again. He's hit behind the wow. line and stopped. Nice surge by the Turpin defense. That was Jason Beam, who was hurt early in that first half. Jason Beam there to make the stop. Also there's number 65, Brian Bulger. They, making a statement for the Spartans. They bend but don't break and bring up fourth and one. Fourth and one ball on the 15-yard line. Interesting call for the Redskins. Redskins go for it. Looks like uh, Brent Rosser is not in the game. They bring in Jeff McKay as the third, third back as a power back. Huge play. Capral split right. Andreas deep in the, in the backfield. And Andreas at the handoff. And I don't think he got it. He hey, tried to dive over the line. You need to get to the 15. There to hit yep. him was uh, Mike Glassmeyer. And the Spartans have held. Nothing going. Nice job by the Spartan defense. He gave up a couple big plays. Looks like they're tangled up. Spartan defense bends but doesn't break. They, take, uh, they give the ball back to their offense. Redskins came out that time and gave the ball to Jake Andreatis on five consecutive carries. So Spartans will take over with the ball on their 15-yard line, first and 10. And boy, this has just been a game of turning points. Redskins look like they're going to come out and dominate. Drive it down to the 15-yard line, but can't convert. Spartans take over first and 10 with 8.20 left in the third quarter. And that is Derek Gribbler. Look at him run. And Gribbler refuses to go down. He gets it up close to the 25-yard line. Wow. Finally brought down by Joe Werner. Gain of about eight. And Derek Gribbler now has 68 yards on 14 carries. We talked about before, but what a balanced running attack. You can't look for either one of those guys because once you start keying on one, the other one gets it. Well, they came into this game with uh, Davidson at 729 yards and Gribbler at 625. Second and one. And Gribbler again. And I don't know if he's got the first down. He's stacked up right at the line. Let's no, see where they mark it. He's short. Let's see where they mark it. They're going to bring in the chains, I think. Tackle was made by Adam Turp. But uh, they are going to bring in the chains, I do believe. There you see where the ball is. Luke Cosman. Joe Warner looking on. Boy, what a big, big play for the defense that was for the Spartans to hold the Redskins. What do you think, Ed? He's just a little bit short. Just a little bit short. Third and inches. And Derek Gribbler has had the uh, Yeoman's... The what? Uh, the Yeoman's... Uh, what am I trying to say? Here? He's know. carried the ball the most here. <laughs> He's got 15 carries for 68 yards. Sound like me before. A well-driven drive. Third and inches. Spartans have to get it just past the 16. Man, Gribbler has run hard tonight. Shastina keeps it. He's oh, gone! Shastina breaks He's her gone. up the hole. He may go all the way. 
Anderson He's gone. Is it. What a play. Brent Chesty is going to go all the way. What a play. The Redskins are stunned. He breaks through on, on the quarterback keep. They think he's down and he's through. Oh. Nobody within yards. He's, How did he's gone. How did get through there? Brent Chesty on a 74-yard carry from scrimmage. And just like that, the Spartans take a 6 to nothing lead. I don't know how you got through there. Well, on a play like that, that's the thing. If you're through, you're gone because there's nobody there as a secondary. They're all on the line. I wish we had instant replay. <laughs> Wind it back, Kurt. <laughs> and the Spartans are going to go for two here, Brad. Golly. And that is Gribbler. He's nope. going to hit stop. So the Redskin defense prevents the two-point conversion. But Luke Cosman stops him short of the goal line. But the Spartans take a surprising 6 to nothing lead. And, boy, I'm telling you, what, look at that side of the stands over there. They are just on their feet. They take the lead with 7-10. Is that 10 or 18? Whatever it is, in the third quarter, 18. 7-18. Brad Chestina showing that great burst of speed that he has. I'm curious why they went for two. Yeah, you know, I was wondering that myself. Unless uh, they don't have confidence in... Uh, Nate Miller. Well, not just Nate Miller, just the... the blocking. Look how quickly Moore Winter got yeah. in to block that, <laughs> well, extra, right. that field goal before. Yeah. Last time Nate Miller squibbed the ball, and it was a nice squib kick, but then uh, somebody just threw a roll of paper towels. But uh, bounties. 7-18 left. The stunned Redskins trail six to nothing. Caprol and Andrea to step back deep for the Redskins. Nate Miller will do the kicking. And on the Redskins' first possession of this half, it was all Jake Andriatis as he carried the ball in every play. There Here's another squibber down the middle. Je Jeff McKay Jeff, takes it. Jeff McKay. Ooh. Jeff McKay takes a big hit. He's still on his feet, but he's going to be stopped at about the 36-yard line. And that was Josh Crawford who hit him. Nice, nice so the job. Redskins will take over first and 10 on the 36-yard line. Six to nothing, Turpin leads. McKay took quite a pop that time by Crawford. So let's see what the Redskins have in store here. As we said, Jake Andriatis took uh, the, the handoff on every play in that first possession. Now we've got Capral split wide with uh, Cruz in the slot. Ellison and Andreas in the backfield. That's Andreatis. Andreas trying to break it outside. He does break it outside. And he takes it ahead close to the 48-yard line and a Redskins first, first down. Stopped by number 80, Eric Ringer. But Jake Andreas took that handoff, went around the right side, did most of that on his own, Brad. Yeah, he popped out. It's because he's so quick to get through the hole. He pops outside and gets away from the reach. Ringer, along with Joe Gusswire, there to bring him down for the Spartans, not before a first down. Redskins first and 10 on their own 48. 637 left in this third quarter. Andreas set up in a slot. And handoff goes to Ellison. Trevor Ellison. And he gets ahead for another 10 yards. Trevor Ellison brought down by Jim Rogers, but another big game for the Redskins. I think, I think Coach uh, Soriano does a great job at using Ellison. Just when, he, when he, you don't, don't expect it, he hits a hole quick. Before you know it, he's got a 9 or 10 yard gain. He's not one that's going to carry the ball 20 or 25 times, but uh, he has a nice average. They're going to bring in the chains and measure for the first down, I think. See, how many yards does Ellison have now? He's got, uh, well, it looks like he's going to have uh, 29 yards and three carries. They got 28 yards and three carries. Less than a yard for the, is left for the first down. That's going to bring up a second and one. Brad, are you surprised that they've uh, gone to all runs so far in this half? I, yeah, I'm surprised. I, I think what they need to go back to is that short pass to Capro because they're giving them a lot of yardage and make those defensive backs come up on them. And then when they, when they come up, go deep. Second one. Less than one. And Alvarez keeps the ball. He didn't get much. Uh, he didn't get much, but I think he fall, falls ahead for the first down. 
They give him a first down. <laughs> Looks like that's where they're marking it. If he needed, if he needed six inches, he got eight. So the Redskins do have another first down. And with 6-10 left in this third quarter, they have it on the Turpin 41-yard line, first and 10, 42-yard line. Early in the game, they went to the short pass, and that was successful, and then they got away from it. Capital split wide. Is it Cruz in the slot? Wozniak. Wozniak. And handoff goes to Andreatis. Andreatis! Whoa! Almost broke it. Close. Tripped up and falls ahead for another 10 yards. But a quick hitter right through the middle that time. Well, they mark it at the 30, what, the 33. They mark it on the 33, and that's going to be a gain of about 9 yards. And it's going to bring up a second one. He slid to the 35. <laughs> and Jake Andreatis now has 67 yards after getting only 9 in the first half. He's we'll, gone over that thousand one. Oh, he's well past it. Second and one. Something we have to look for, Greg. Brian Hensley, number 53, is now in at right guard. So he's going both ways now. Let's see how he's conditioned. The handoff goes to Trevor Ellison. Trevor Ellison takes it up to about the 28-yard line and another Redskin first down. Tackle was made by Brian Herking. We've called that name a lot. And they spot the ball on the 28-yard line, make it first and 10 with five minutes left in this third quarter. Herking another jo good job tonight all over the field for the Spartans. Ball marked on the 28-yard line, first and 10. And Andreatis looking for room to run. Can't find anything on the left side. He's in stop for a little gain, if any. Jason Beam. J Jason Beam. Let's see, we'll give him a yard, make it second and nine. <laughs> yeah, one thing that the, the Spartans did do in the first half is they controlled the ball and kept it out of the hands of the, of the Redskin offense. Well, that's, that's part of the, a good defense is, is a, a good offense. Second and nine. Albert's going to put it up. He fires for Capral. Incomplete. And intended for Capral looking for the flag. No call. Their own coverage was number 25, who we just found out is Joe Gusweiler. And that's going to bring up a third and nine. With the ball on the 27-yard line. And big play for the Redskin offense. Last time they had something like this, they went into uh, the middle with, with Lewis Cruz on a slant. Wozniak's in now. Tim Albert's four for ten now. Wozniak and Capra come to this side. Third and nine. I tell you what, I wouldn't be surprised is to watch, watch uh, Trevor Ellison in the flat. And off goes the Jake Andreatis. Andreatis short. is stopped short of the first down, gets up close to the 22-yard line. Tackle is made by Kurt Yuskowicz. This would be a 40-yard field goal. They're not going to go for a field goal. They mark it on the 23. And it's going to bring up a fourth and five. And there's a timeout taken on the field by the officials. Equipment timeout. Andreatis now with uh, 72 yards on 17 carries. Looks like number three, Jeff Prince, had a problem with the shoulder strap. Big play. Fourth and five. <laughs> Redskins have to get it to the 18-yard line. Lewis Cruz and Capral split right. And that's Jake Andreatis. Andreatis takes through for a first down. Up inside the 15 for a first down. Jake Man, I tell you what. He took it right up the gut. Just when you think they're going to pass the ball, they give it again up the gut. Kurt Yuskowicz brought him down. But those, are, those are the kind of calls that if they don't make it, you question the call making. But when you make it, nobody questions it. Right between the tackles. 3.18 left here in the third quarter. Six to nothing, Turpin. Redskins uh, on the move. Capro left, Wozniak right. Ball marked on the 14-yard line, first and 10. And handoff goes to Andreas again. And Andreas gets it up close to the 10. Let's see where they mark it. They mark it on the 11. 
Tackles made by Brian Bolger. And that is now 84 yards for Jake Andriati on 19 carries. Gain him three, make it second and seven. Two thirty-five left in the third quarter. Andrew Reid is now set up in the slot, on the right side. Careful split wide with Cruz in the slot. And that's oh. uh, Trevor Ellis who takes a hand off his hit. He finally goes down. Oh, nice man. pursuit by the Turpin defense. He was stood up right away at the line of scrimmage and bounced off. Josh Crawford finally brought him down. But that's going to bring up another big third down play as they mark the ball on the nine-yard line. Gain of two, and it's going to bring up a third and five. Ball on the nine-yard line, and another official's time. You know, we haven't had yet this uh, quarter is a penalty. You know, we haven't yet this, this game, a score, except for the Turpin Spartans. Okay, third and five. Ball on the nine-yard line. And Albers and doesn't like what he sees. Tim Albers calls timeout. Timeout is called with one minute and 52 seconds left in the third quarter. Turpin leads the Redskins six to nothing. What do you think they're going to run here, Brad? I think you like to run that pole right How do you right like out that here? pole, Kurt? Shoot that pole. Nothing we can do about it, folks. Third quarter, minute 52 left. Redskins trail Turpin, six to nothing. Oh, we got a minute. The, uh, they do have new goalposts here at Anson High School. Partially uh, funded by the Moms Club here at Anson High School. That's right. And boy, they are really nice looking goalposts. This, this whole field, this whole stadium looks just great. They, they've done the field upright. They've got the, the end zones decorated. It, it makes an amazing difference when you have just one football team playing on this field instead of, you know, your, your reserve team, your varsity team, your freshman team. Turp, when, when Turpin was playing over here, then he had boys and girls soccer down here. They had something on this field every night, and by mid-October, it was bald. But we were down there on the field before the game, and it's in fine condition. Actually, it's, I mean, the grass looks great. It's kind of slick because of the dew. We've seen some of the guys uh, slip because of that. Of course, when I was in high school, I didn't really care what, what the field looked like. We were going to lose by so much anyway. Third and five. Oh, man. Okay, Ellison, the, the up man, and Andreas in the back. Andreas takes a handoff. Nope. And he stops short of the first down. Picks up maybe two or three yards. See where they mark it. They mark it on the seven-yard line. We'll give him two. Bring up a fourth and three. And, or fourth no, they're going. There's no doubt about it. Are they going to go for the six? Yep. Well, the way this game's going, you need a six. The three's not going to do you any good. Let's see. It, actually, it's marked closer to the six-yard line. We'll make it uh, fourth and two. I have to go inside the five? They have to get to, yeah, just inside the hey, five. Well, you better hurry up. Big play. And that's Andreatis. Andreas spins ahead for the touchdown. Wow. Jake Andreatis was hit in the backfield, spun away, takes it in for the score. And with the 58 seconds left in this third quarter, the Redskins have tied it at six. He was hit and stood up by Brian Herking at the line of scrimmage. Had enough in him to spin around and get away from him and went in for the six. Brent it, Ross are on to attempt the extra point. And this is a big extra it's point. It's a big one. That was a six-yard run for a touchdown for Jake, a seven-yard run by Jake Andriatis. Last time, Jason Beam came right up to gut. Lines are down. Kick is up. It's long enough, and it's good. That's a big one, Greg. With 58 seconds left in the third quarter, the Redskins retaliate. They take it down and score on a seven-yard run by Jake Andriatis. They lead the Turpin Spartans seven to six, as you can see right there on your TV screen. Jake Andreatis now, how many yards does he have, Steve-O? 93 yards on 21 carries. Well, the Redskins bounce back after a Spartan score to drive the field for the score with the extra point going up one. 
Well, this is, as we've said many times, this has been a game of turning points. And now it's up to the Spartan offense to take over. You're still trying to figure out how Sistina got through there. I cannot, I can't <laughs> wait to see it again. I don't know how he got through there. Spartans have done it all on the ground. They have not completed a pass as of yet. How many attempts? They have just one attempt. <laughs> Kurt said he's got news for us. We're not going to see it on TV because. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. He's probably listening to me. Brent Rosser set the kick off. Jimmy Davidson, Brad Chestina back to receive the kickoff. And Rosser hits a line drive. Chestia takes it on about his eight-yard line. Look out. Chestia, Chestia breaks two, three tackles. Wow. Takes it up close to midfield. They mark it on the – let's see who they mark it at. Brad Chestina. About the 47. Woo. Saving tackle by number 80. 88, eight. Joe Werner. Marked he got, he got him by a line. foot. That's, that's, he got him by a foot, and that was it. After that, it was Rosser. Ball marked on the 48-yard line. First and 10. Spartans with great field position. Under a minute to play in this third quarter. Redskins lead 7-6. Looks like Davis in the load back. I didn't see that, Brad. It's right up the middle. That was Gribbler up the Derek, middle. Derek Gribbler goes right up the middle, tackled by Trevor Ellison. And Derek Gribbler picks up about uh, seven yards. And now he now has 75 yards on 16 carries. Mark Brown and uh, Jimmy Rogers in for the Spartans. Pick up seven, make it second and three. I don't know if they'll get this play off in time. They do get it off. And Derek Gribbler cuts it in for the first down. Ball. Gets it up over uh. the 40. It's about the 38-yard 30, line. And another Spartan first down. Tackles made by Joe Werner. Well, he lost containment on that play, Greg. He let Gribbler get outside for a gain and a first down. That is the last play of the third quarter. Our score after three quarters of play here at Brown Stadium. It's uh, the Redskins 7, the Spartans 6. And as we've said so many times, look, look at the turning points. The Spartans are driving again. While we got a minute, we want to thank once again our sponsors who help bring the games to you every week right here on the Anderson Community Television. That's Tom Moser, GB Beagle on Beachmont Avenue. Monarchy TV and VCR in Newtown. Rody and Kelsch Funeral Home on Beachmont Avenue. Adams Heating, Adams Heating Company on Beachmont. Beacon Food Mart in Mount Washington. Uh, Toft Insurance and Toft Travel on Ohio Pike. Also want to thank LaRose's in Anderson and in Mount Washington. Fry Insurance in Marymount. Dr. Paul K. Yankow in the Festival Markets on Beachmont Avenue. And of course, Edwards Realty, Cherry Grove Plaza. See you at the next game. Our three quarter stats, courtesy of our stat man. Stat man. Steve Martin. Redskins have rushed for 129 yards. Tim Albers is four for 10 for 55 yards and one interception. Spartans, no yards passing. 0 for 1 is Brad Chestina, but they have picked up 183 yards on the ground. And they're driving for more. First and ten, ball in the 38-yard line. Back to pass. Chestina looking to throw. He fires. And it's complete. Oh, there's a flag. Ball is incomplete, but there's going to be pass interference. Brendan Sheridan on the, on the coverage. Ball is intended for number nine, Mark Brown. So that, that will be another first down for the Spartans, and it'll take it further into Redskin territory. Coach Soriano doesn't like the call one tiny bit. Coach Soriano is about to get a flag if he didn't get out the field. We got defensive pass interference on number two. Automatic first down. There you hear the call. Pass interference against Brendan Sheridan. Not too many Redskins fans are agreeing with that one, but. They march it down, and where are they going to mark it at? Looks like it's on the 24-yard line. Right away, Spartans knocking on the door. First and ten. First and ten, ball at the 24-yard line. Uh, Rogers in motion. And there's flags. There's laundry all over the field. <laughs> yeah, legal procedure on the Spartans. I think it was Kurt Yuska, which you jumped. The dead ball, ball start. Still with first. They take it back.
back to the uh, 20, 28 yard line, make it 29 yard line, make it first and 15. Small shot in the foot. Let's see if they can bounce back from this one and can uh, keep the drive going. Yeah, that's what happened here in the first half. Sparks drove it down and uh, had two straight five yard penalties. First and 15. Handoff goes to Grabler. He's in dropped right there. There, Grabler took that handoff, was met immediately. Right there. That was number 66, Dave Crawford, who made the stop. Called no game, make it second and 10. Oh, no, make it second and 15. 7-6, Redskins lead with 11.20 left in the game. Brian Timberlake, number 45, split right now. Gribbler and Davidson in the backfield. That is Gribbler again, tries the middle. Gets about three three yards or so. Let's see what they mark. They're marking on the 25-yard line. Give him three, make it second. Or th yeah, make it third and 12. Third and 12. Tackles made by... <laughs> tackles made by who, Ed? <laughs> the interior line of the Redskins. Number 72, Luke Cosman. That's going to be third and 12. Big play for the Spartans. Third and 12, ball on the 25-yard line. Nate Miller way right over here. Drops back to and pass. Shastiga put it up. He fires. It's Jason Beam who catches it. And he's going to be hit stopped well short of the first down. <laughs> Joe That's Warner. the first completion of the game. Was that Joe Warner that made the tackle? Joe Warner. He went to a tight end screen to the left side. Joe Warner fought through the block and dropped him. A gain of about seven. But he's uh, he's still going to be about six or seven yards short of the first down. They mark it on the... Fourth and six, the and they're going for it. Fourth and six. This is a big, big play. Bob Gibson split left for the uh, Spartans. Justine in a shotgun, and Rogers right. Davidson in motion. It's down back to Justine. He's looking to throw. He's in trouble now. Chestina gets away. He fires into the end zone. Knocked away. Knocked away by number 81, Adam Zabo. Jimmy Davidson was open back there. He was Davidson open. A great play. Just Jimmy at the last, the last second there, he jumped up and knocked up ball away. That would have been six for the Spartans. Nice job by Chestina to avoid the rush. Running left, he threw across the field, and it would have been there. Nice job by Zabo to, to, to knock it down. First and ten, Redskins. Redskins will take over. Barnes drive it down, take it inside the 15-yard line, but can't convert. Preston's now want to play ball control. Sabo split wide with Cruz in the slot. Ellison and Andreas in the backfield. That is Jake Andreatis. Andreatis still is on his feet. Up close to another first down. Andreatis followed Trevor Ellison into the line that time. Breaking a few tackles on the way. Pickup of about nine yards. Brought down by uh, Brian Herking. You know whose name we haven't called a lot of defense for the Spartans is Gribbler. That is, that is correct. 9.15 left in the game. Redskins lead 7-6, and they have the ball on the their own 34-yard, or 29-yard line. Second and one. A lot of cushion on the receivers over here on this side. And that is Trevor Ellison, who's hit the line. And dropped. I don't believe he got the first down. Let's see what they mark it. They mark it just over the 30-yard line. Tackles made by Mike Glassman. That is a first down. Yeah, I guess he did have just enough to get that first down. It's a close. Under nine minutes to play, 8.51 to be exact. Anderson leads Turpin 7-6. to six. Greg Ellis along with Brad Ellis. Hope you're enjoying the game. First and 10, ball on the 31-yard line. And 
Alvarez is going to put it up. He's got Cruz wide open. Cruz looking for a block from Campbell. He gets it. Cruz Hurts. takes up in the Spartan territory or just shy of it. We were Brought just, down by Brian Herkey. We're just talking about the cushion they're giving him over here. They ran it quick, and then he, he pops outside, and he looks for the block from the wide receiver. He got it. Nice job by Brian Herking in pursuit to pull him down from behind, but not before he gets to the 49-yard line, first and 10 Redskins. 18-yard pickup. Ball to the 49-yard line, first and 10. Andreas tries the middle. Andreas scoots through close to the 46-yard line of Turpin to pick up about five yards. Redskins offensive line now controlling that line as far as the surge. Not a whole lot there, but he ends up getting about four or five yards. Jake Andreas now with 107 yards on the game, Brad, with 23 carries. That's, that's a good second half. Absolutely. Second and five. Capital right with Cruz in the slot. <laughs> Long count by Albers. And nice Andreas block. again. Andreas takes over the 40 to about the 38-yard line. Man. And Matt, you know who that was? It was Matt, Matt Ober, Ober. who's in, in there for Trevor Ellison. Matt. Tackled by Bob Gibson. So that was number three, Jeff Prince, shooting a gap. And Matt Ober just flat out knocked him backwards. Brian Herkey also was there to bring down Jake Andreatis, but another first down for the Redskins. Timeout Turpin. Turpin. And they're That's on their the feet down. here on the Anderson side of the field. Redskins lead 7-6. to six. And they have control of the ball on the Turpin 39-yard line with 7-17 left in the game. Redskins now driving the ball. More importantly, they're, they're controlling the clock, and that's in uh, in their favor. The Spartans need to hold the Redskins here and then drive the ball down. And any kind of score is going to win it for them, but they've got to stop him first. Jake Andreas with 114 yards now on 24 carries. And Trevor Ellison with uh, 36 yards on six carries. Well, we got a minute. Let's thank uh, Stand Man Jones for his use of the wireless mic. Without that, we couldn't bring you the calls from the referee. We appreciate his help. Also, we'd like to thank Mark Schwartz back in the studio for all the help that he gives us. And believe me, it's a lot of help. We appreciate your help, Mark. Absolutely. This has been a great game. A close one all the way down to where we, are. we stand right now. Anderson holding a slim one-point lead. But they have the ball and the clock on their side. Yeah, Turpin took that timeout. First and ten, ball the 39-yard line. Redskins go with Capral, split wide. Wozniak in a slot. Ellison back in there in the backfield with Jake Andriatis. There's a flag. Our first flag of the second half. No, they just called one. Oh, that's right. We got dead ball. Ball start number 71. Ball start against number 71 for the Redskins. That is Chris Crane. Kane. Let me see mine. It's Chris Crane. Chris Crane. I've been saying Kane. Make it uh, first and 15. Now ball on the 44. That's the fifth penalty against the Redskins for 39 yards. And Albert's going to put it up. He fires. Complete. Was that Capral? Yep, that was to Capral. Ryan Capral makes the catch. Tackles made by Joe Gusweiler. Pick up about seven yards. And it will bring up a second and eight. And Albers is now 6 for 12 on the evening. Andrew Aid is picking up the block on Yaskowicz. And uh, they're just did a little discussion afterwards. Second and eight. And we're under seven minutes to play. 6.44 left in the game. With a long count. Andrew Aidis slips one tackle. Dribbler. Derek there Dribbler, is. you said we haven't called him much on defense. He was there that time. Makes a nice dive on Jake Andriatis. They're going to mark it on the 36-yard line, give him a yard. And it's going to bring him a third and about seven. 
And he wind the clock. Coming up inside six minutes, now left in the game. Third and seven. Now we've got careful split wide with Cruz in the slot. Ellison and Andreas the backfield, and there's a timeout call on the field by the officials. A lot of that tonight. Well, they call it when they have equipment problem. It looks like uh, Werner playing tight end didn't uh, couldn't get his helmet snapped. Okay, third and seven. Redskins must get it to the 29-yard line for a first down. Albert straight back. Fires to Cruz. Cruz has it. Cruz look has out, the block. Look out. Cruz will go all the way for the score. Lewis Cruz took that pass from Tim Albers and takes it in from the 36-yard line. He beat Ringer, and then he got the block from McCaprell to take it in for the score. They go up 13-6 with 5.33 left in the game. 36-yard pass. And Brad, you've, been, you've called it. They've been giving them that big cushion out here. And Albers just put it right in there. Well, they, they had the article a few weeks ago, or a few, oh, wait, a couple weeks ago now, about how uh, Coach Soriano went down to Tennessee and got some ideas to uh, enhance the passing. Here's the extra point attempt by Rosser. It's up, it's long enough, and it's good. That could be a very big point, as it turns out, as the Redskins now take a eight-point lead over Turpin, 14-6. Redskins uh, side of the stands are on their feet and cheering for their team. This has been a great high school football game. A lot of Four background noise tonight. Yeah, there is a lot of background noise. Pennington. 14 to 6. <laughs> So now it's up to the Spartan offense to bring it back. I'll tell you what, they better watch Brad Chastain on this kickoff. <laughs> yeah, one thing they do want to do, they want to uh, trap him back deep and make him drive the field. Certainly not let him start in, you know, somewhere around midfield. That was a four-minute, 11-second drive for the Redskins. Before we get started, I'd like to think, say thanks to Bill Newton for the halftime eats. <laughs> <laughs> About your dog. 20, 20 people in line, so you yell down and put your order in. Brent Rosser is set to kick off with 5.33 left in the game. And he squibs it, it. Uh, avoiding the run back. It's Jimmy Rogers who picks up on the 26-yard line. And he's in, stopped on about the 35. Stop was made by P.J. Shiano. And that was definitely out of respect for Brad Chestina, that squibber, Brad. Oh, yeah. So the Spartan offense will take over first and 10 on their own 34-yard line with five minutes and 25 seconds left in this game. That means they need a six and a, a two-point conversion. And the Spartan offense relies solely on the run, so they've got to get right to it here. And just as I say that, Chastain is back to pass. He fires to Davidson complete. Davidson avoids one tackler. Gets up to about the 40-yard line. Pick up six yards. Tackles made by Dave Crawford. Nice job by Crawford going back from his lineman position to make the tackle. Matt Ober turned it in to get some help. Justina had all kinds of time back there to pass. <laughs> Just when he wanted to throw some kind of little screen, they don't rush. Game of six, make it second and four. Andy Barris back into the game for the Redskins with a taped up left wrist. Boy, it's really taped. It looks like a cast. Second and four. Hand off to Gribbler. Gribbler. Was that Gribbler? Yeah. Gribbler busted through to the 40, just over the 45 yard line. First down. It'll be a first down. Joe Werner brought him down. Gain of five yards, and Derek Gribbler now has 90 yards on 20 carries. Martin had to, they have to continue this drive penalty free. That's, that's been their uh, weak link tonight is penalties on a drive. Spartans have used one timeout. They have two left. And the clock does roll with four and a half minutes left. Now we got Timberlake split wide on this side with Gribbler coming out of the game. That's Gibson far left. And Chastain's got to put it up again. He's got all kinds of time. Now he's got to run. 
Shastia uh, breaks two tackles. Andy Barris brings it down to the 39-yard line. Nice job by Shastia running the ball. Like you said, he's already inside the 40. Faked out Trevor Ellison that time to gain another 10 or 12 yards. I'll tell you what, their best offense tonight is a scramble. Shastia scrambles. Little Fran Tarkington. And now the clock becomes a big factor. Shastina is 101 yards, Braille, six carries. Give credit to the Redskins defensive backfield for covering him, but man. Gibson split wide on the left side, and Rogers split wide on the right side. Shastina in the shotgun. Davidson in motion. And Shastina with all kinds of time again. He puts it up in the end zone. He's wide, wide open. Bob Gibson. Oh, no, Jason, Jason Beam. Beam. Jason Beam makes the catch for the score. Great job by the, the Turpin Spartan offensive line to give him time to do that. Jason Beam was wide open. They heaved that ball 39 yards for the score. Brad Chastain with all kinds of time. Man. He finally found Jason Beam. That uh, makes it 14 to 13. No, that makes it 14 to 12. 14 to 12, that's right, because they went for two before. They're going to call a timeout and talk about it. No, the, the Redskins, Redskins call a timeout. Uh, you know what? The, the Spartans were going to call a timeout. The Redskins beat them to it. Well, oh boy, 14 to 12 with 3.43 left in this game. I'm telling you, what, what a great high school game this has been. And we're about to have a monumental play, as Marty would say if we were over here. How about a season play right here? As the Spartans obviously will go for two. The fact that the Redskins called a timeout, that could come into play later on. What was that? Uh, I didn't hear what he said. 14 to 12 with 3.43 left in the game. As I was saying, before I got really interrupted. By who? <laughs> the Redskins now down to one timeout. 3.40 left. The time, I don't think a time on a Redskin drive is... It could be, it's not as critical as it is for Turpin because of the way Alvarez can put it up. <laughs> they scored mighty quick right there. They did. And they did that all on passing, Brad. Passing and Chestina is scrambling. Okay. Bob Gibson wide left. Rogers right. Strap it up. Chestina in the shotgun. Here we go. Chestina looking in the end zone. And he's going to be hit and, and dropped. dropped. You know what? I think they had the very I think that was a design play. You think? Nope. He wouldn't have waited. If it was a design play, he wouldn't have waited that long. Brian Hensley brought him down for the critical stop. And that leaves the Spartans two points shy. It also leads us up to maybe a possible onside kick, Greg. Yep. 66 yards on that drive for the Spartans in a minute 44. Redskins will put their hands team up up there. And Marty thanks Andy Mac Williams, who is in the stadium giving live reports tonight on WLW. So yeah. the, uh, what was that? I, well, I don't, they're talking over there, Greg. Okay. Okay, Spartans are set to kick. You see yeah. Redskins sideline. They well, they Miller. do have a hands up there. Dave Miller will do the honors. There's not a lineman on the field. They're going to stay in that bunch and go straight forward, Greg. <laughs> see? You called that one. <laughs> All right, here we go. 3.43 left in the Watch game. Watch the ball, Kurt. Here we go, buddy. <laughs> Shiano's back there with Andrea. It is deep. And they squib it through. Nice Re cover. Recovered right there. That was like a suction cup. Who was that, Ed? Looks like Jeff McKay. Jeff McKay? Jeff McKay. <laughs> I think he's stuck in his gut. <laughs> he's got Rawlings firmly imprinted on his gut right about now. So the Redskins will take over first and 10 on their own 39-yard line. And the clock starts to the run down. 3.35 left. Actually, they mark it on the 42-yard line. 
Caprell split wide with Cruz in the slot. Ellison and Andreatis in the backfield. Spartans now look to try to tackle the ball. That's Andreatis who carries it up close to the 45-yard line. Not much there. We'll give him a yard. Make yep. it second and nine. Number three, Jeff Prince shooting the gap again, getting through, but Trevor Ellison this time pushing him out of the way. Still a short game. Kurt Yuskwich brought him down. Make it uh, second and how many yards you give him that? Three. Three. Second and seven. And we're under three minutes to play. Ball on the 45-yard line. And that's Andreas again. Andreas, room to run on the left side. First Andreas down. takes it over the 50 to the 46-yard line, back at the 45-yard line of Turpin. That'll be another Redskin first down. Tackled by Eric Ringer. That was a big 10-yard pickup by Andreas. He now has 128 yards on the evening. Ball marked at the 45-yard line, and we're under two and a half minutes to play. 14 to 12, Redskins lead Turpin. And that is Trevor Ellison, who carries it ahead for about another five yards. Trevor broke a couple tackles that time to gain, yeah, gain a little over five. And he now has 41 yards. On well, how many carries does he have? On well, seven carries. We're now under two minutes left in the game. Tackle on that play was made by Mike Glassmeyer. Yeah, I'm surprised the Spartans has not called timeout. I think if they stop him they here, they will. Okay, second and five. Andreatis tries the middle. Andreatis cuts it outside. He's got another first down. Tackles made by Jason Beam. That could have been a big one right there. Uh, first down with a minute 36 left. That could be the straw that broke the back for the Turbin Spartans. Spartans do to use its uh, timeout now. That is their second timeout. Well, we got a minute, Greg. We need to start talking about the coveted, I do say coveted, East Side Player of the Week. Well, let me throw a wrench into it here. Why don't we write him down so we're not... No, no, no. Oh, Let's talk about it. All right. I think... East Side Player of the Week we're talking about here. I think Brad Shastina earns it on the Turpin side, but I think we ought to give one to the Anderson side too, one for each. All right, well, let's do that. Yeah. Definitely, would you say yeah. Shastina would get it for the, from the Turp, Turpin side of the ball? Yeah. Kurt, you with us on that one? All right. All we got to do is get the, the Anderson East side co-player of the week. We already have uh, one vote in. Make that two votes. We'll get uh, Kurt's thoughts in a second here. Actually, we got to get him right about now while we get the timeout. <laughs> We're running out of paper. <laughs> we don't have that many huge trophies, Kurt. <laughs> First and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. 34-yard line. Spartans definitely now looking for a turnover. And Andreas again. With both hands over that ball, stopped at the 33-yard line for a short gain. Tackled by Brian Herking. Spartans do not uh, call a timeout. And the clock winds down, a minute 15. What a great effort given by both teams here tonight. I mean, the Spartans really had to be happy with the way they played and just a couple of uh, couple of bad breaks and, and the score could have been just the other way. You know, looking back on it, you still got to wonder why they went for the two on that first touchdown. I got so scared. I got so scared when uh, that, and they got a delay game. That's not real smart. Delay game against the Redskins. Oh, delay game, offense. You know, when all you've got to do is, is drop. That's a sixth penalty against the Redskins of 44 yards. And we've got 52 seconds left in the game. Spartans with one timeout remaining. Second and 14. Andreatis tries the left side, still on his feet as they tackle the ball. And he goes down about the 30-yard line. 
That's a pickup of about eight yards. Tackled by Eric Ringer. And no indication from Turpin as of yet. They have one timeout left. I can't believe they haven't taken it yet. Maybe we're wrong. Maybe they, they've used them all up. They sent Matt over and now to tell them that they don't have to uh, run a play. Are they 120 gonna... seconds to play. Third and seven. This could be the last play of the game. As Alvarez takes a knee. The clock is still winding down. And that's going to be it, folks. This, oh, there you hear Marty. This one belongs to the Redskins. What a great, great high school game. Our final score here at Anderson High School. It was the Redskins 14. The Spartans 12. And it's too bad there had to be a loser in this game. Well, like we said, both both teams played a great game. And, uh, you know, we, we were, like we said, we were sorry to see that one team has to lose. The Spartans played a great game. And uh, they've got to be happy with the way they played. And again, like we said before, just just my new not my new breaks uh, could have changed this game dramatically. Brad, you want to talk about the Anderson East Side Player of the Week real quick? Go ahead. Uh, my my vote is going to go with uh, Young Martins for with Jake Andriatis for that fine second half he had. What do you think? I'll go with that. All right, our co-players, East Side Players of the Week for Turp, and it's Brad Chestina for Anderson. It's Jake Andreas. Congratulations. Go to them. And what a great game this has been. 14 to 12, our final score. Our thanks go to our producer, Tim Bennington, to our executive producer, Bill Ellis, for our technical advisor, back at the station, Mark Schwartz. Thanks for helping us, Mark. And for our uh, for Stan the Man Jones, for his help with the cordless mic, helping bring you the calls from the referees. And once again, as always, thanks go to our fine crew right here in the booth, our cameraman, Kurt Kissinger, our stat man, Steve Martin, and our spotter, Ed Barth. Once again, our final score here at Anderson High School. It was the Redskins 14, Turpin 12. Redskins go to 8-0. Spartans drop to 6-2. For Brad Ellis, I'm Greg Ellis. Thanks for joining us here on Anderson Community Television. We'll catch you next week on the East Side Game of the Week. Hi, right, everyone. We're back here from the, uh, from the Anderson uh, Turpin game. What an unbelievable game. Another, uh, you know, typical Anderson Turpin game. And, uh, Brad and Greg, who were doing the uh, doing the game, uh, really unbelievable. And I know Brad, you 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 ended up taking some stats for us, but uh, but Steve Martin was always the one that did the stats for us, so we you, we know that and it, we love Steve Martin doing that. But unbelievable, Jake Andreatis, I believe, I think you said only had nine yards in the first half. What what a second half he had. Well, you're right, Dan. I mean, he carried the ball seven times from nine yards, and just because I mean because he carried the ball only seven times tells you something right there uh, about the half. Um, but when Anderson took the ball in the second half, um, Andreatis was like a different runner, you know, and he ended up the game with 143 yards, which tells wow. me that, you know, my, my, my Shashi Agarwal math tells me <laughs> that he gained 134 yards in the second half. I thought I'd throw that in for you, Dan. That's good. Nice. Thank you, man. Nice. <laughs> part, part of the broadcast that uh, yeah, Greg and I do, and Brad's there, part of that one, too. But that's uh, – I had to throw that one in, but man, it was uh, one of those. Again, it was an un unbelievable game, and I think uh, the the first scoring ended up uh, being, uh, I believe, Turpin scored. Yeah, Turpin scored on a, on a, a Shastina run, and, and Greg and Brad. I, I think it was, uh, I believe it was third and one, and he squeaked out of there somehow and uh, ran ran one for a big touchdown. You know, Shastina, Turpin didn't even complete a pass until the fourth quarter. Wow. Now, th this is a team that came to six and one, and they didn't complete a pass until the fourth quarter. But Chestina was such an athlete. On that third and one, he just broke the first line there, and uh, you could see his speed. I think Brad used uh, a Fran Tarkin. Yes. Yes. Hey, now. Hey, now. But, but uh, uh, Chestina was, was, was a heck of an athlete. And uh, – and then on their other uh, score, their other, the touchdown pass he threw in the fourth quarter, it was because of his legs, because he got away from the pressure and he found a guy wide open because he was scrambling. Yeah, and, and, and Greg, you know, Brad, you mentioned it during the broadcast when it happened at the time. Were you surprised that 
Turpin went for two on that because that ended up being the difference in the ball game. Yeah, I definitely and surprised you they went for two. Um, you know, I, I guess they were thinking that um, their defense is going to. I mean, they scored first. They were holding Anderson to um, no zero points, and they thought, you know, if we can get two here, we can go up a, a touchdown plus, and it'd be okay. But I tell you, after that first score and and, and the first score, Anderson took the ball on the thirty six after that touchdown and went thirteen plays, sixty four yards, and took seven minutes off the clock. And um, and ended up on a fourth and two. Uh, Jake took it in from six yards out, and um, Anderson kicks the extra point. And never looked back. Yeah, I mean that that was pretty much the difference of the game. And uh, and then Anderson uh, throws gets another touchdown. My brother Timmy, uh, you know who we we always thought who was going to have a big game was Brian Capral, and 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 really, I mean he had an okay game, but it what ended up being the the big pass was to remember. Uh, I think it was Lewis Cruz, wasn't it? Yep, yep. It was a 36-yard pass on third and seven from the 36. Uh, Timmy threw threw a pass, again, another slant route that, that, that Cruz caught and went 36 yards for a touchdown. And, and you know what? I mean, we, we talk about how close these games are. Uh, this one ended 14-12. But um, right after Anderson scored to go up 7-6, Shastina uh, took them down to the Anderson 20. And on fourth and six, they go for it because they don't want to try a field goal then. Um, because um, was it Joe Warner, I think, that blocked the, the first field yeah. goal in the first half. But Shastina scrambled and threw to a wide open beam in, a set, in, in, the, in the end zone. And Sabo, Aaron Sabo, was it Adam or Aaron? Adam, um, I think, just uh, was able to get back and deflect the ball at the last second, or that would have been a touchdown for Turpin. That's how close that was. You know, the one guy that I, I that stuck out that game for me uh, defensively, I think it was Herking, wasn't it, for Turpin? That was really, really good. The, uh, yeah. He was really, really good. I mean, you guys think about that. Both teams, and if they were at one school, think about that. Yeah. I mean, oh. that, that incredible talent on both sides of the football. Yeah. I mean – Put that so, way forever. Yeah. Yeah. Every time, every time both teams are really good, you think about, man, what could it be if, we, if, if they were at one school? Yeah, and, 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 you know, Anderson, both teams, I mean, some other guys that we haven't mentioned, Joe Warner on that team, you had, you know, as you said, Trevor Ellison had a big game. You, I mean, you got a lot of guys on the team that we haven't even mentioned, and a lot of those guys, if you think about it, played on, on those teams that were really good in the 92s, 93, the Princetons and the St. X and all that. Those yep. guys were sophomores then, and yep. so they had that experience. And uh, But, yeah, I mean, just a great game, and I ho hopefully everybody enjoys it. Not. You guys just did did a really really good job, and it's it's awesome to go back and watch that, and and shows how much Greg we've digressed because we can't even get field mics, <laughs> and we can't even get you know the double cameras and all that. We're we're just generic. Well, one of the guys that we 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 talked about briefly before the game, and, and I, I want to throw some shout outs to before we get off here because I, I'm a stat man, Danny. I don't know if you know that or not. But I get into the numbers. Uh, Gribbler. You know, Gribbler was was a um, – I mean, he was he was their – Turpin's offense in their first half. And then they had to go more towards the, the pass in the second half. And Cestina, most of the time, instead of throwing a ball, you ended up scrambling for, and getting yards. Yeah. So. Just, uh, you know, great game. And, you guys, you know, I, I really appreciate you doing doing this again. And uh, I'm sure we'll, we'll get together again and, and, and trade uh, VHS tapes again so we can uh, – <laughs> figure out the next games but uh i mean any any last thoughts on, on on this game at all that you guys want to throw out i mean it was again it was just i mean a great atmosphere and obviously when marty brenneman's there you know it's big time man if you if you look back at, at the history of the anderson turpin uh rivalry the, the games i mean way more often than not they come down to like there's less than a seven point of the game i yeah. mean and this was no different, 14 to 12. The, the, the first game we revisited a couple weeks ago, that came down to the last play. I mean, almost always, those games don't disappoint. I mean, once in a while, you'll get a big blowout. But nine times out of ten, these games are fun to go to, whether you're from Forest Hills or not. It's like, They're just fun to watch. Absolutely. And, and one thing I remember in, in the pregame, too, that we talked about, I believe, was that in the Anderson Turpin series up to this point, it was nine and nine. Each, yeah. each school had won nine times. So this was kind of like the, the tiebreaker there. The other thing I want to mention that um, we mentioned a couple of times during the broadcast, our cameraman was yeah. Kirk Kissinger. Absolutely. Yeah. Kissinger. 
So. Former, uh, he's a former football player at Anderson High School. Yeah. Kirk Kissinger played football at Anderson, I believe, I think, back in 1983, I believe, if that's correct. Now, now you're getting back in my era. That's me too, I, I, buddy. I think at the time, Kurt was a lawyer, and I think he's a judge now. He is. He is. He is. So, but, uh, you know, it's uh, great. Again, guys, thanks for uh, for doing this. I know everybody really enjoyed watching that first Redskin Rewind, and I'm sure we're going to get a lot of hits on this one and, and the other games that we've got planned in store. And unfortunately for everybody that's out there watching, we've got some other games, and unfortunately we cannot find some of the tapes. <laughs> so we're only going to show the games that we have tapes of, obviously. We can't show – the games that we don't have of and we're going to be missing some really good ones but we've got some other good ones in store but uh again guys hey thanks for doing this i really appreciate taking the time to do this and uh been a fun night again it's another fun night dan let's keep doing it all right you're the man guys. dan thanks all right so for dan albers greg ellis and brad ellis you've been watching redskin rewind here on usbn sports we'll catch you on our next week on our uh, game of the week have a good night everybody <laughs>